this is the 120th anniversary of the New England Botanical Club. And um, this, what they've done is they asked all the botanical organizations in the Northeast, New England and, and areas beyond, uh, to come and talk to to have a to have a presence here, either through um, a table with information or presentations, and it's also meant there are sort of um, updates about work on the the plants of the region, and there'll also be some field trips where people get together and go in the field and look at habitats, and a discussion about what the role of these clubs that go back a long way, many of them in history, what impact they can have on conservation in this, this area. If you want to affect legislation or if you want to have results that will hold up in a legal challenge, you have to have evidence that something grew in a certain place and it doesn't grow there anymore. So they're doing that basic work. But they're also great advocates for a range of activities that are conservation related, for planting native species, getting people out of their houses and into the woods to appreciate plants, just to just to see them. Honestly, lots of people can don't they, they call it plant blindness. People don't even see the plants around them. Uh, we just found a spotted turtle on the side of Haydenville Road. Um, getting ready to cross the road. It's fairly busy today. Um, and so we're gonna move him across the road and hope that he's headed for the wetland on the other side and survives. Um, this is a, a rare species in Massachusetts. They used to be more abundant, um, but have declined as their habitat has shrunk. They used to live in a lot of wet meadows and fields, which are now replaced by forest. This is a great conference because it's bringing together over 30 organizations, such as the Tory Botanical Society, that are combining together and networking. They each have their own little niche. Like, for example, the Tory group is more not so much New England, but we do publish papers on New England, whereas Rodora, our sister uh, journal with the New England Botanical Club, publishes more in this region. So you put it together collectively and you have a really powerful force really all lobbying about the same thing. They play a great role is in getting each individual citizen to take what steps they can to keep a habitat for plants, for bees, and to keep out invasive species if they can, and uh, to just sort of appreciate plants and understand their critical role in our lives. Why we do this? So we're all, people have come from all over New England. There's a woman here from Toronto. There are people up from New York. I don't know who's come really the farthest. But people have come a long ways to gather here together to um, talk about plants. And, and, and it just strikes me that we can talk to each other over Skype. We can tweet. We can read each other's papers. There's lots of ways that we can interact with each other about plants. Um, anything you want to know is on YouTube. <laughs> and it's so overwhelming. You know, when you, you Google something and, you know, it's this flood of information uh, and, and it, it can be difficult to, to actually, you, cannot, you can usually find what you're looking for, but you don't find what you're not looking for. And so you come to a meeting like this and, and, and so you learn a lot about what, what you're interested in, but you also learn really unexpected things. You know, I belong here, I'm a geek among geeks <laughs> and, and just happy as can be talking about plants.